Hey, I'm Brent Webb. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be discussing a topic that is one of my favorites, of course, the human mind. But the information I'm going to give you today, if you implement this, you can change your life in five minutes or less. The human brain is a powerful thing. It's the most complicated matter known to man. But our brains have a fundamental flaw that we can all take advantage of to make vast improvements to just about any area of our life. Now that flaw is this. The human brain does not know the difference between reality and fiction. It doesn't know whether or not something is actually real. In other words, it can't tell the difference between something you're thinking about doing and something that you are actually doing. Now as incredible as that sounds, it's absolutely true. And I'm gonna prove it to you. I want you to do this right now. I want you to think about a time when you were really scared. I mean frightened to death. Picture in your mind the images that made it so scary. You have to feel what you felt at the time. So think about what you thought while you were there. Blow those images up really big and make them lifelike in your mind. I want you to keep running it over and over through your mind. And while you do this, relive the experience as if you were there. Now, if you've done this properly, you'll be feeling a little nervous, a little anxious. It's not going to be uh, the level that, uh, of fright that you had when it was actually happening, but you'll certainly be feeling rather anxious about it. So how is it that even though you're sitting comfortably there watching me, feeling safe and secure, that replaying that incident over in your head rekindled the feelings of worry you had when the actual experience was taking place? It's simple. It's because your mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what isn't. Try it a different way. I want you to relive in the same way we just did, uh, something that made you happy, overjoyed, something where you were incredibly successful. Uh, maybe when you got your first car, you got a big promotion or when you were really clever and pleased with yourself. Now follow the same steps, feel the way you felt, get those feelings, Get those images in your mind. Intensify the experience. Now you'll get those feelings back too. Those euphoric, amazing feelings of happiness will come flooding back just as if you're right there now doing what you're thinking about. That is unbelievable. Think about the ramifications. You know, they did a study, Stanford University. They took 90 students. They broke them into three groups of 30. And for two weeks, for an hour a day, they let one group practice on a basketball court. Now these are non-athletes, but they practice on a basketball court, uh, dunking, running, that sort of thing. The second group imagined they were doing it. For that same amount of time, every day, they would sit and from the uh, very beginning, they would see themselves going onto the court, they would see themselves running, they would see themselves making the baskets, they would get the feelings that they would feel when the ball goes through the hoop. And the last group, the last 30, they didn't do anything. They didn't practice, they didn't uh, think, they didn't do anything at all. Now when they brought the 90 back and they tested them to see how they improved, of course, the group that didn't do anything didn't improve at all. Now the group that actually went out on the court and practiced every day, they improved by almost 40%, 38%. The amazing thing is, the group of 30 that didn't do anything but imagine it, that saw themselves doing it improved exactly the same, 38%. So how can you use this fact to improve your life? Let me give you an example. Many, many people hate the idea of speaking in public. Now, it's what I do for a living, but at the beginning, I'll tell you, 20 years ago, scared the hell out of me. People fill their minds with the scariest thoughts they can come up with. You know how it is. It may just be a negative thought, but in your mind, it's like the voice of God telling you everything that's gonna go wrong. You're gonna flub your lines. You're gonna face a hostile audience. But it is quite literally only in your mind. So instead of thinking about it that way, everything negative, picture the performance going exactly as planned with the audience loving everything you say. Imagine them laughing at your jokes and seeing faces light up when you tell a story or two. Picture everyone listening intently, hanging on every word you say because your information is vastly important to them. Now, while listening to this, I am sure you can understand the difference that this can make in your life. 
All you need to do is apply the same strategy to other areas as well. You'll be amazed at the difference it can make when you simply use your mind to see things going well instead of going wrong. Most people are full of negativity and it's actually the way they think about things that does them in. If you change the way you think, you can change the way you live. We're gonna do it together. You guys have been amazing. I wanna thank you for joining me today. Uh, drop a comment down there. I want you to give this a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put those down below as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys really soon. I have some great videos I'm working on and they're gonna be fantastic. So thanks again and I'll see you soon.